So, um, abortion. Uh, I just want to say I am pro-abortion. Not only am I pro-choice, I am pro-abortion. I think abortion is a good thing. I think we have too many fucking stupid kids in this country as it is. If more Republicans got more abortions, this country would be a lot better. So with that being fucking said, let's get into this article from Politico. Abortion access crumbles. Four more states enact new restrictions this week. The newly effective laws make good on conservative promises to swiftly prohibit abortion in as many states as possible. Again, what is the root cause of being against abortion it is not oh the sanctity of life they don't give a fuck about the sanctity of life oh i'm pro-life oh they don't give a fuck about being pro-life the entire 100 percent not 99 percent not 60 percent not just a small fraction 100 percent of the core logic behind these Republican fucking freak shows that are against abortion is to control you. They want to control you. Again, you are a second class citizen. You are a slave to them. They want you to go into the kitchen, make them a sandwich, and pump out their little fucking stupid ass babies so they can brainwash them into being freaks just like the rest of this fucking country. Right? That is the only, the only, the singular 100% reason why these Republicans want to do this stuff. It's about control. They read a book like the Bible and they go like, oh fuck, it was better back then. I wanna control these women. I wanna control these bitches. I wanna control these whores. That's how they fucking think of us. I need you to understand this. Republican men that are against abortion are want to be slave owners. I mean, again, just like, I mean, you know, Republicans are like that with everything. Let's be honest. They're fucking freaks. Republicans are freaks of fucking nature, antisocial personality disorder, fucking disgusting scumbags. But I need you to understand this whole abortion thing is an attempt, and so far a pretty successful one, an attempt to create a world, a country, where half the population are second class citizens. Half the population will be second class citizens if these people control Congress, right? They will pass a nationwide abortion ban if they become, uh, if they win the presidency in the next presidential cycle. They will pass a nationwide abortion ban. I need you to understand this idea. Oh, it's, oh they will never do Roe v. Wade on reverse. Oh, 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 they did it. Oh, they will never do full abortion ban. Oh, oh, they did it. Oh, they will never do nationwide abortion ban. Oh, they will do it. They said they will do it. Republican members of Congress are running on that in the midterms, right? They're going to run on that in the 2024 election. I need you to understand these motherfuckers want to control you. They want you to be their slave. That is it. That is all. That is 100%. They don't give a fuck about being, oh, pro-life. I don't just care about the baby's life. If you cared about fucking baby's lives, you know what you wouldn't do? You know what you fucking wouldn't do? You wouldn't fucking beat the shit out of your children. You know what you wouldn't do? You wouldn't advocate to defund fucking public schooling. You know what you wouldn't do? You wouldn't advocate to defund daycare. You know what you wouldn't do? You would. You know what you would do? You would advocate for healthy nutrition. You know what you would do? Advocate for more access to daycare. You know what you would do? Support uh, paid maternity, paternity leave, whatever. You know what you wouldn't do? Have more support systems and structures for orphan kids, right? Again, how can you be... Again, it's a hypocrisy game, but they don't care about hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is a tool, a weapon to use to confuse you. I need you to understand, there is no such thing as shaming a Republican on hypocrisy. It doesn't exist. They have no shame. Being blatantly hypocritical is a weapon, an ideological, a rhetorical tool in the toolbox to confuse you. You know, when you're playing fucking Pokemon, right? And that motherfucker uses like, I don't know, some move that confuses you, right? And then like you hit yourself. That's what it is. When you're thinking, oh, how could these Republicans say one thing and then do the other? They are trying to throw you into a trap. It's like when you're walking through the forest and you fall in a hole that was covered up by leaves. It's a trap. It is to confuse you. It is to waste your fucking time trying to figure out how a human being could say something so blatantly hypocritical. They know they're hypocritical. It's a tool in their toolbox. It is a weapon that they're using against you, right? They are blatantly illogical creatures, right? Logic is the antithesis of how these people behave, right? So they understand that other people are logical creatures, and so they will use and weaponize the understanding of logic against other people in order to win, uh, you know, in political uh, realms. I need you to understand there is no such thing as shaming a Republican on hypocrisy. They don't give a fuck, okay? 
So, the erosion of abortion access in the United States accelerated this week with four more state trigger laws taking effect, Idaho, North Dakota, Tennessee, and Texas. While three of those states had significant restrictions on the procedure already in place, the new laws carry narrower exemptions and harsher criminal penalties, all but eliminating abortion in broad swaths of the United States. Now again, the same fucking party is also against birth control. Clarence Thomas on the Supreme Court said that he wants to reverse Supreme Court precedents that allowed for access to birth control. And again, what is birth control? What falls under the umbrella of contraception? Condoms. Republicans are the party of banning condoms. They want to ban condoms, motherfucker. I need you to understand this. I need you to understand, right? Amy Coney Barrett, a freak, a total fucking freak on the Supreme Court, said that one of her core ideological principles is to expand the, quote, domestic infant supply. She used the term domestic infant supply. What? The party of banning condoms wants to increase the domestic supply of infants? What? What? What the fuck? I know. I know. It's crazy. And these people have power over you unless you fucking do something about it. Okay? I need you to understand these people are crazy. There is no such thing as historical precedent. There is no such thing as what's in the past is in the past. It is not real. Okay? The future is just as historical as the past. Okay? I need you to understand that fucking shit. As of Thursday, abortion is prohibited starting at contraception or starting at conception with limited exceptions in a dozen states and two more states forbid the procedure after the detection of a fetal cardiac activity around six weeks of pregnancy. The newly effective laws make good on conservative promises to swiftly prohibit abortion in as many states as possible following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade in June and will leave much of the South and Plains states with virtually no access to the procedure. The laws could also make it harder for people to access non-abortion health care, including for miscarriage and family planning. Again, there have been many articles coming out over the last three months. Someone having a miscarriage, and now they have to go through years and years of legal battles to prove that they didn't purposefully induce the miscarriage, right? People having a miscarriage go to the hospital because they're hemorrhaging and they're having significant blood loss, and the doctor's like, I don't want to deal with a lawsuit. You're on your own, kid. Here's a couple of fucking painkillers have fun writing this out at home right there have been documented cases where people are are getting extremely injured sick right and we're gonna see people start dying more and more and more because of this when a doctor is unable to actually provide any health care at all no matter how much you're willing to pay them we are going to see a mass amount of death from this fucking shit, okay? And that is the goal. The Republicans want to kill you or they want to throw the idea that you're going to be killed if you slightly walk out of step onto you and they want to control you. They want you to be a slave. They want you to be a second class citizen. That is how it works, okay, motherfuckers? In Texas, which has banned all abortions after roughly six weeks of pregnancy for nearly a year, abortion providers now risk a life sentence for performing an abortion. AKA, they're not going to perform an abortion, okay? No doctor is going to risk going to prison for the rest of their life to do a temporary procedure on someone, even if it thinks that they're gonna save their life. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? Because again, they have that, that idea that they want to, you know, self-preservation. I don't wanna to go to prison I don't care if you die. It doesn't matter if you die. Maybe I'll be upset about it. Maybe it sucks that I'm in this position, but I am not going to sacrifice the rest of my life to save your life because it's just not worth it for me. That's the goal. That's what Republicans want. That's what they want. They want to restrict your access to health care, right? Because if you're not able to survive without access to health care, then fuck you. They don't care if you're disabled. If you're disabled and you need extra help with stuff, they want you to die. I mean, look at why they're fucking so hell-bent on making sure as many people die as possible from COVID-19. They want as many disabled people as possible to die. Anyone that doesn't follow their orders to die, they don't fucking give a shit about you. So anyway, you can read the rest of this. I don't really care about like what they're talking about. The same thing could happen in Tennessee where abortion is not prohibited except if necessary to save the pregnant person's life. Now again, if necessary to save the life. So what that means is every time you do an abortion, right, you're gonna have to go through years of legal battles, years of legal battles, and the jury and the prosecutors are gonna say, is this really necessary, 
right? Did you really need to do this abortion? And chances are they're gonna say no and they're gonna throw you in fucking jail anyway, right? So with that understanding, doctors knowing that they're probably gonna have to go through court battles for three to four years and maybe go to jail and have to post like fucking hundred thousand dollars a bond, right? They're not gonna do it. This is plain and simple. They're not gonna fucking do it. And if they do, right? And then they're gonna go through the legal system and then they're gonna go through the court battles and then they're going to be convicted. Then they're gonna become the example to make other people not want to do that in the future, right? I need you to understand the exceptions of rape or incest, it's a red herring. It doesn't mean anything, okay? The result, the net effect is the exact same, okay? Anyway, I mean, like, again, our country is falling the fuck apart. Where abortion laws stand two months after the fall of Roe. So you can just check this map out. Illegal. Illegal after six weeks. Again, there is really no distinction here. Illegal after 15 weeks. There's barely any distinction here. Soon illegal. Blocked legals, right? As you can see, there, we're at a point where a majority of states are going to be... You have no access to health care. We're going to be at a point where, again... If Republicans do take the House and the Senate and next year or next cycle rather take the presidency nationwide abortion ban this map is going to be all red all the time because that's their goal that is what they want that is what they strive for and do you really think like let's imagine Democrats hold the Senate but it's Joe Manchin you think Joe Manchin is going to save democracy you think Joe Manchin is gonna save half the country's right to health care nah Joe Manchin's gonna fold like a fucking folding table and he's going to go right along with the nationwide abortion ban because he's a freak just like the rest of them he'll be bought and paid for in no time right so I need you to understand this this country is quickly going to be falling apart at the seams and really what is there to do about this What can we do? Vote Democrat? Okay, that just kicks the can down the road. How do we deal with the fact that there are millions of psychopathic want-to-be slave owners, want-to-be serial killers in this country that are willing to do anything that they can in order to enact their fucking crazy fucked up psychopath fantasy? What do we do about these millions and millions, tens of millions of crazy motherfuckers in this country? What do we do with them? What do we do? Voting Democrat? That doesn't solve the problem. We still got tens of millions of crazy fucked up motherfuckers in this country. So think about that.